everybody, Victor here again, your uh, Mapster WordPress Maps buddy, helping you out, getting some developer stuff going here. So this is about hooks and actions and how we use them in the Mapster WordPress Maps plugin. This is definitely a developer feature for people that are comfortable with JavaScript and want to like get in there and cause some special things to happen when they're doing, when, when your map loads. So, um, we built in a whole bunch of different, um, basically listeners for different events that happen during the life cycle of your map when it loads. Um, we're calling them hooks kind of to follow along with the WordPress style. And we call it, you know, a hook is where you're going to hang a function or multiple functions that you want to run. Um, every hook receives certain variables. Many of them don't receive a specific variable actually, uh, and can be registered to run on a very specific map if you want. So we have a big list of our hooks here, and this gives you just a sense of all the different events that you can hook into. So there's everything from data fetched to map set, uh, which is, you know, when the map is initialized to uh, all the different controls that load and they all pass in the, they all, they all give you the control uh, itself, as well as when click or hover events happen, you can get those. So this is pretty flexible. Uh, it allows you to do things, um, you know, really, really customize the map. So we're just going to go over a quick bit of adding one of them. So we have our map here. This is again, this is just a basic developer kind of map that we use for testing. And um, you don't have to do anything. In our other video, we had a custom, this section where we added the name of a function, but we don't have to do that. We're just going to erase that completely. So this works independently of having to do anything in the map edit screen. So this first one we're just going to do, it runs on map set, which down here says after map variables, variable is initialized. Um, and we'll just paste it into our footer PHP. Uh, again, you'll probably want to organize your JavaScript a little better than this, but uh, for the sake of testing, this will do just fine. And this runs before the map loads, as it says, it says when the map initializes. So you would have to actually put in a load um, listener if you want to do something with the map after that. If you're familiar with Mapbox GLJS, you should kind of be aware of this. Um, but let's just update this and we'll just see if this runs when we reload this page. So first of all, let's see if we get um, that map getting. So there's the map and it's not done loading and you can see the the zoom got adjusted to be different than it originally was. So that is working. That's great. Now the second part of this is you may want to target a very specific map. Rather, you, you know, you might have more than one on your site or you might have more than one on a given page and you want to target that specific one. Well, you just have to pass this slash mapster and then the ID of that particular post, that map. We can find that in a few places. We can find it up here when you're editing a map. We can find it, um, oh, that'll be in the map section. We can find it here in the short code. You can also find it when you hover over in the bottom left there. It, it has the, um, like the link and it, it'll show you it, but this is an easy place. So 7314. So we'll come back here and we'll, um, why don't we make a copy of this? And after we'll say mapster 7314. Okay. And we'll console log second. Okay. So there we go. We'll update this and we'll see if it runs and does the th same thing. So we should see the map load and then zoom in and we should get our second map. Okay, cool. So that all worked. So one thing to notice is you'll notice it didn't run twice. That's because this one, when the, there's a specific one that's set on the page um, for this map, it'll override this one and won't it won't run both of them. Uh, we just figured that was the best way to approach it. But if you want it to do something else, please uh, let us know. And you know, we'll look into making an exception on that for you. But that's essentially how you're going to use these hooks and hook in your own actions to them. So uh, we hope that works out really well for you. And just let us know if you run into any trouble or you need something else built. Thanks.